In this video clip, I will show you how to do meta analysis in RevMan Review Manager on a data extracted or taken from research studies and the estimate of the effect size is binary so the outcome is binary outcome that have two levels in it and the estimate in this case is the odds ratio abbreviated as OR in the RevMan click on the new here icon and in the new window next and then select the intervention review then click on next and give the review a name let's say here uh, meta analysis for let's say lung cancer studies click on next and then select full review and then click on finish uh, and then scroll down to uh, studies and references click on references uh, to studies and right click to add a study so in the new uh, wizard window here uh, in which uh, section should the study be created included study click on next then enter the author name for each study in this case i will just call it study uh, number one which is 2013 and i'm going to insert four different studies click on next then next this uh, box is filled with the year of publication click on next then click on next and then select add another study in the same section and then click on continue give the second study a name study 2014 click on next then next 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 and then select add another study in the same section continue back again study number uh, three which is 2017 click on uh, next 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 then another next select the last option continue and then the final study which is 2000 um 22 let's say and then click on next then next another next another next and here then click on what do you want to do after the wizard is closed once you have finished entering all the four studies or as much as study you have then click on finish and uh, then click on references to study uh, and if you scroll up here you will notice that the four studies are added in this section scroll down here to the data and analysis and then right click on it and add comparison what name should be uh, given to this comparison let's call it ma4 lc lung cancer study click on next then what do you want to do after the wizard is closed let's click on add an outcome under the new comparison click on continue since the odds ratio which is the estimate of the effect size is odds ratio then it is dichotomous select the dichotomous dichotomous have dichotomous outcome or variable have two levels in it event happening event is not happening click on next and then let's give uh, uh, outcome a name m a l c odds ratio and again there are two level here experimental and control click on next in the next window here there are options to select from analysis model either can be fixed or uh, random effects we'll stick with the fixed uh, effect uh, we'll keep the statistical uh, method as mantle hansel and for the effect measure select the odds ratio there are options for risk ratio risk differences will stick with the odd ratio click on next 
in the next window here set the confidence interval either for 90 percent or 95 will stick to the default which is 95 percent confidence interval for each study and for the overall confidence interval for the overall estimate of the effect size um, click on next and in the next window here select how to sort the output either by study id or effect size let's make it by study id click on next and then uh, click on finish an outlay is generated here to insert and input the values or the data for each study click on this icon here and then select all the studies 2013 to 2020 and click on finish all the studies are listed here with possibility of adding values for experimental and control event happening total and event happening and total for experimental and control for all the four studies weight will be calculated and odds ratio will be generated based on the fixed effects model with 95 percent confidence interval and a statistical method of mh and here there will also be a value generated for uh, the overall effect size or overall odds ratio with the uh, heterogeneity test performed and the p-value for the overall uh, or pooled um, odds ratio to start adding and filling the values for each study select the first study first uh, and then click on the calculator here and in this section here there are places to add the values for the event in the experimental and the control and the total for the experimental and the control for the first event in the experimental i'm going to add 12 for the total is 16 and for the control the event is one out of 25 if i hit enter the whole uh, values here are automatically calculated as shown here the total event is 13 the total participant 41 the log ratio is uh, log odds ratio is calculated the odd ratio is calculated with a p-value the log of risk ratio and risk ratio is also generated with the risk differences if I click on update a table data table it will automatically filled here or I can uh, do and fill the values for the second um, study by filling values here for the event is 45 for the total 60 and for the control it is 8 out of 70 so there are different way to do it right click on this select the calculator go for the third study enter the number for the event which is 32 out of 46 and for the control it is 5 out of 60 and then if i hit enter and then click on update data table it is automatically felt here uh, now uh, for the final study for the experimental event it is 37 out of 50 and for the events in control it is 5 out of 55 now the data uh, extracted from all these four different publications the outcome is inserted in this area here and as shown in this section the weight is uh, calculated for each study the odds ratio is calculated for each study with the 95 percent confidence interval based on fixed effect effects model and mh um, statistical method and an overall uh, odds ratio is calculated with the confidence interval uh, and the section here is given for the homogeneity test and the p-value 
to uh, generate a forest plot click on that icon here and a forest plot is generated for the four studies as shown here on the left hand side the study name and the year of publication the event happening in the experimental with the total and the event happening in the control with the total the weights the other uh, values for the odds ratio for each individual studies with 95 percent confidence interval the forest plot here shows a scale and a vertical line for one which is a line of no effect the uh, each square here represent the effect size which is the odds ratio and the size of the um, square the blue square represent the or reflects the size of the samples the horizontal line represent the confidence interval for each study and the diamond shaped symbol here represent the overall odds ratio calculated from combining all the four studies together and it's given here to be uh, 27.2 and the uh, confidence interval is calculated in the third section here it shows the homogeneity test for variability between studies and the uh, i squared is zero and the p value is greater than 0.05 and for the significance of this observation for the odds ratio which is 27.2 is less than 0.05 so it is significant so this is the way to perform meta-analysis for data taken from publications and the outcome is binary uh, outcome based on an effect size estimate which is the odds ratio to do the meta-analysis in RevMan. If you find this video useful, do subscribe to the channel, leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of uh, several different video clip and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of uh, different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graph, Pad, Prism, G Power, Python, and RevMan. If you are a student or a researcher and you have a data whether it is um, um, quantitative all qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages my contact details are given here so don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course